<laughs> All right. Hello. Okay, so homework problems. <laughs> hi, class. Sorry. Everyone say hi. 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 Okay. Hi. We're done? Okay, now we're going to work. Okay. For 10, 5, 17? Seven. Just seven. Okay. I don't know if we're going to have time for more than that. The f main focus here is the review today. I want to get yeah. through the entire review. Okay, we're already five minutes in, so we're going to spend about ten here doing as many as much as we can. Seven. We're going to do seventeen um, on on ten five. Did anyone have any questions on ten six? No. no. Great. It was easier. Great. Okay. Um. So we're going to start with seventeen. Okay. There are two ways you could do seventeen. Four y squared minus four y minus 4x plus 24 equals 0. Okay. The first thing we need to do is we need to keep the y squared and the y terms over here and put the others on the other side. So plus 4x minus 24 here, plus 4x minus 24 here. So we end up with 4y squared minus 4y equals 4x minus 24. Okay, there are two two things we can do right now. Hold on one second. Two things we can do right now. We can either divide the whole thing by four right now, or we can continue on with the problem, and we're going to have to divide by four later. We might as well do it now, right? It simplifies our process now. As long as we can divide every single term by something, let's do it on both sides. Okay, so let's do it. Questions? What do you mean by just take out? Like it's like four root C squared minus Y. That works. You have to do that. If you don't divide by four, you do have to factor out. Remember, this is not just for parabolas. For every type of conic section and in general, when we complete the square, we can't do it if we have a coefficient in front of our squared term. Okay, the first thing we always have to do is factor that out. Um, We'll do an example uh, like that later, but it's also important to recognize that all of these are divisible by 4, so we're going to divide all of them by 4. So we get y squared minus y equals x minus 6. Okay. From there, we're going to complete the square. So our b is negative 1. <coughs> divide in half and square it. So we have 1 fourth. And we're going to add that to the left, and we're going to add that to the right. So this, when we factor it, we get y minus 1 half squared. And then over here, x stays the same, negative 6 plus 1 fourth. You could write it a bunch of different ways. You could write it in terms of um, fractions, so like negative 6 over 1 plus 1 over 4. We're going to multiply by 4 on top and bottom, so negative 24 over 4 plus 1 fourth is negative 23 fourths. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to write like that. So minus 23 over 4. You could also write this as negative 5 and 3 quarters. Okay, you could write it as um, negative 5.75. Whatever works for you guys. Fractions just must be in simplest form. I don't care if they're mixed numbers or if they're improper like this, where the numerator is bigger than the denominator, but they have to be in simplest form, meaning, you know, if this was divisible by uh, some number, we have to reduce it, okay? Um, so from here, it seems like there's no GCF to take out, but there is one, right? It's one, okay? So we can rewrite this if we want to, if it's helpful, okay? Because there's nothing there, put a one in front of it, x minus 23 over 4. Um, because from here we set this equal to 4p. So if there's nothing there, it's harder to remember, right? That we have to set 4p, yeah. We have to set 4p equal to that coefficient in front. 23 over 4. 23 over 4. Not 22. Okay. Okay. So this one right here is what I'm setting equal to 4p. Because this is my standard form. So now 4p equals 1. So I get p is 1 fourth. Okay. From here, I just need to figure out 
where my my vertex is, where my focus is, and then you know involved in that is which direction it is. Okay, um, my vertex is H K. Is my vertex. So it's going to be 23 fourths, comma one half. Okay. Let's look here. This is my standard form right here. Okay. I have a y squared term. Okay. The squared is my y. That means it's going to be right or left. Okay. P is one fourth, which is positive, right? It's greater than zero. So what does that mean? but my options are only right or left, so it's right, okay? That means it's facing the right, okay? So I go back to my vertex, my vertex is here, and if my focus is going to be moving right or left, right, it's going to be moving right because it's here we have the right, what term, which number do I add the one-fourth to? Um, to my H or to my K? I'm adding P to something. To the, um, Am I adding it to H or to H. K? Yeah, to H, because I'm moving left or right here. Okay, so I've got 23 over 4 plus P, so 1 fourth, comma, K stays the same. So that is 24 over 4, which is 6, 1 half. That, yes, yeah, sorry, that is the focus. Focus is one, foci are plural. Okay, and then the last thing we're going to do, we're going to do a very basic sketch of it. Okay, so my vertex is at 23 fourths, one half. Well, that we know is going to be just under six, right? Five and three quarters. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, almost there, and then up just one half. Okay. My vert, my um, focus is just to the right of that a tiny little bit. That's Wait, six. What's the focus? Six one half. Okay. okay. And it faces right, so I draw it like this. And I don't really, I'm not concerned with how wide or narrow your parabola um, is. I'm just concerned with the direction it's facing. I'd like to move on um, and focus the rest of the time on the review because I think that will help just everyone in general. I'm going to pause this um, for a second.